relationship timelines. A lot of people do things way too quickly or they do things way too slowly or just basically just the wrong time. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to explain to you how I want your relationship timeline to go. So we can start right from scratch, square one, you're single. You're single, nothing's happening, you got nothing going on, okay? How do you do it? What's the right pace? When do you do the right things? I'm gonna set it all out for you. Now, I've done this before in previous videos and relationship timelines can be somewhat controversial, okay? It's okay if you don't agree with me, it's not a big deal. This is my timeline that I want you to try to follow. Now be aware, I've coached thousands of people from all around the world. A lot of people who have achieved a 10 out of 10 have not stuck to my timeline. A lot of them have done it a bit quicker because they like each other so much that they can't wait, which it's okay, it all works out. But I want you to try your best to stick to the timeline, okay? So, you're single. You go on online dating, you're talking to somebody, you meet for a date within the first week, okay? You don't want a pen pal. Meet within the first week or two, okay? You gotta meet quickly, get to know them in person, not online, okay? All right, you go on the date, then you go on a date a week later, then another date with them a week later, and a week later. After about eight weeks of this, you have fallen in love with each other, emotions have blossomed. Now you're in love, now you're an official couple, your boyfriend, girlfriend, okay? Facebook official, you're, you're official now, okay? Which is great, you're exclusive, you're official, everything's, you're a proper couple. Okay, that's eight to 12 weeks in. Okay, two months, two and a half months in, you're an official couple. Then you wanna keep seeing each other, keep getting to know each other, keep those emo emotions blossoming, keep the relationship growing and keep building attraction and all that sort of stuff until about six to nine months when you're gonna move in together. Okay, you're gonna move in together whether you're six to nine months together, okay? And then you wanna to live together for at least a year before getting engaged, okay? Then at least another year, then you get married, then start having babies if you want to, okay? Now, that's basically how the timeline works. That first year living together, I don't want you to do anything, just enjoy living together, learning about each other. Don't make any big decisions like getting engaged, getting married, having babies. Don't do that in the first year. The first year together is just about learning about each other and getting a good rhythm going with each other and getting on the same page, okay? Now, this timeline, I want you to try to follow the timeline because it sets you up for success. Following this timeline, what it does, it builds the foundation of the relationship properly so you can actually achieve a 10 out of 10, okay? You've got to be able to achieve a 10 out of 10. It, you can't do that if the foundation's not built properly. So if you do things too fast or you do things too slowly, it's never going to work out. Like one example of doing things too slowly is you might meet someone online and talk to them for three months without going on a date. That's very silly, okay? The chance of that working out, almost zero, very, very low, okay? Also, if you wait too long to be intimate, big mistake, okay? If you move in too fast, it's a mistake. Wait too long to move in, it's a mistake, okay? Again, any men watching this, if you've been with your girl, if you've been living with your girl for at least a year, propose to her, okay? Now, girls watching this, I know a lot of you get frustrated if a guy's not proposing. Proposing and all these sort of things, these are emotional decisions, okay? If the emotions aren't in line with what you want him to decide, he's not gonna make the decision. If the relationship's an eight out of 10, he'll go, I don't really wanna get married. Things are fine the way they are. If it's a 10 out of 10, he'll go, this relationship's incredible. I wanna take it to the next level because it's so good. It creates desire, but the emotional decision will not be made unless the emotions are in line with what you want it to happen. So you've got to get the relationship to a 10 out of 10 first if you want to see that progression in relationships, all right? So remember that with each step with this 10 out of 10 relationship and this timeline, you can't go to the next step unless it's a 10 out of 10. So if you're dating each other and it's not that good, don't move in together, okay? If you're fighting all the time, it's not a good sign, okay? If you move in together and it's terrible, that's obviously not a good time to get engaged, and so on and so forth. You gotta work on it, make sure it's a 10 out of 10 at each stage. Please follow the timeline, guys. If you're not sure when to do certain things, shoot me a message, I'm here to help. Now, another question I get with the timeline, does this still the same with single mums and kids and all this sort of stuff? Yeah, the timeline's the same. The timeline's the same whether you have kids or don't have kids, whether you're, have, whether you're two blended families or you're two single people who don't have kids, same timeline. I still want you to move in six to nine months whether there's kids involved or not kids involved because it's not really, I know that sounds crazy, wouldn't it take longer? No, it doesn't. I've co the majority of people I coach are single mums, okay? Now, whether I'm whether it's 
someone without kids or with kids, the timeline is the same and it works, okay? Follow the timeline, guys. If you need more help, shoot me a message. I wanna help you achieve a 10 out of 10.